Hi Trap, The Devil is currently streaming on Hulu and it stars A.J. Bowen. Also, Jocelyn Donahue makes a very brief appearance here. I was really excited to see both of their names together because of my love for the film House of the Devil by Ty West, one of my favorite films of the decade. And yes, that is a 2010 movie because it didn't get dropped until 2010 on DVD and it was only in limited release in 2009. I'm justifying this now because in the future, very soon future, I'm going to be doing a best of the decade and I got to sneak that thing in there. So anyways, moving on from that, this is about, this is actually a Christmas horror movie. So perfect right in time. This is the very end of the night. This was the last movie of the seven that I watched today on Christmas and it just so happened to be set on Christmas. I had no idea, went into it blind, didn't know who was in it, knew nothing about it. Um, and so this is about a guy who shows up to his brother's house with his girl and his brother is acting very strange. And so he starts to confront him about his paranoia and whatnot. And it is then revealed that his brother has kidnapped somebody essentially and is, has them locked in this like uh, sealed room in the basement. And he tells them that I trapped the devil and of course, they are, uh, you know, not 100% convinced. This movie relies uh, purely on atmosphere. It is, if you're in this atmospherically, you're probably going to have a really good time with it because this film is more of like an atmospheric drama. It's one location, almost all dialogue, no real payoff. There's no real like kills or anything all that much. I mean, there's something. I'm not going to get into spoilers or anything, but it's very little in that way. There's no jump scares. There's none of that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for a film that has boo scares and, and things jumping out and someone chasing people around the house, no, this is, this is more psychological. This is a super slow burn. I thought it was a pretty damn cool movie, something that would serve better on a second viewing, in my opinion, just kind of knowing everything. But the film's going to leave you with more questions than answers, absolutely, and that's going to drive a lot of people insane. I think you know what kind of fan of horror you are, and you should be able to understand what kind of horror I'm talking about right now. This is more art house. This is more slow burn. Like, you know what you're getting yourself into. If that's your kind of shit, I think this is absolutely worth a watch. If you're somebody who likes things to get moving and get going and there's lots of kills and there's tits and all these kinds, none of that stuff is in here. None of that stuff. It's just atmosphere, creepy, eerie tension being built throughout, uh, mystery, intrigue of being like, is this really this? Is this guy delusional? Is is the devil really trapped in his freaking closet? Um, and just kind of watching the characters deal with the situation, deal with the brother. Of course, the one brother wants to protect the other brother, so it's not like they just run out immediately uh, and, and call the police like most people would. So, of course, that's built. And then throughout, you're questioning what you're seeing and all that kind of stuff. But it, it doesn't... It doesn't have any really overly flashy, um, you know, CGI sequences or even like monsters, creatures, anything like that to be seen. As I said, slow burn, mostly dialogue, all atmosphere, lots of questions left at the end, more more questions than than you got any answers. So. But I dug, I dug it, and I, I would look forward to watching it a second time to get my true feelings. I, all, I honestly almost didn't review it, because when I was watching it at the, at the very end, I was like, I'm not sure how I feel about this movie. I really dug the way they built the tension, and I, and I liked the use of the one location, and finding out that it was filmed in like nine days is super impressive for such a low budget, and just kind of the confines of that and I can always respect stuff like that so you know it, it was something I felt like oh maybe but you know it's Christmas time and it's a Christmas horror movie technically because it is set on Christmas Christmas tree 
in the background of a lot of these shots, so it very, feel, very much feels Christmassy, and they have the devil trapped in there, so it's almost anti-Christ. Um, yeah, I, I recommend it to people who like slow burn art house kind of horror flicks that rely on atmosphere, tension, and dialogue from characters who are delivering mostly good performances throughout. So let me know if you've seen this, let me know if you watch it, and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody and to all. A good night.